Greetings my fellow mountaineers! Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone! Welcome back, I am Mountain General and today we are continuing the series of Worst Focus Trees for a specific ideology and by a request of many today we are looking at fascist paths. If you enjoyed today's compilation of Worst Focus Trees that I will play, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Also apologies for my horrible voice, currently I'm dealing with a little sickness that prevented me from uploading last week, so that's great. And yeah, overall this year has been pretty shit. I managed to upload 34 videos this year excluding this one, compared to 72 in 2021. Personally this was one of the worst years that I have ever had. That's also reflected on my upload schedule, so I just want to say thank you very much for sticking around and supporting the channel, that means a lot to me. Now we will start with the worst fascist focus tree. If you know, you know, and if you don't know, well then let me show you some top quality Czechoslovak dumb fuckery, it's something out of another world. Basically we will just give up our land for an ability to become a German puppet. Yes I know this sounds very thrilling, but before that we will do the fortification in Sudets for some extra manpower and we will be preparing our army for well nothing literally what do you want to do with this now after finishing our whole Sudeten forts you might be asking why were why were we doing that simple answer is that one day we will reclaim it now we can start with the part of our focus tree that will lead us to the worst shit ever now yeah we can start our descent to the madness with appeasing the germans yes this is what appeasement looks like Improving relations with a Reich. And now let's do the second worst decision of this play for giving up our land for like nothing. Literally nothing. Yep, before they did Anschluss, they got free Sudetenland. And now let's go for the worst focus that we will do in this playthrough. Submitting to the Germans for that we can uh, still be alive. I mean the only positive thing about this is that it doesn't require us to have any percentage of uh, fascist party popularity. The only positive I see on this. And our cowardly government just gave up our whole country to become Reichsprotektorat Bohem Mahren. And yeah, this is just pretty bad. But hey, at least we are not the lowest uh, kind of puppet, so we don't give up our industry. Well then, we can also ask the Germans what to do with Hungary. Oh wait, we get a war god that we can't even use. Well then, now I can finally focus on things that really matter in my country and it is uniting the population. I have also hoarded some political power so we can enact some racial, I mean, economy laws and hop on that good old extensive conscription. But when we are a Reichsprotectorate, we are giving up 25% of effective total manpower. So be aware of that. Oh yeah, even Anschluss happened. And I'm slowly preparing for uh, some little trolling in the future. And after uniting our population, we can just uh, still be preparing for stuff. Because as you can see, we didn't get locked out of this political focus tree but still we will be developing our nation until we are truly ready for some action baby and oh shit oh fuck a second world war is just happening in front of our eyes and yes we will just join for the military xp for nothing more and the czechoslovakian forces will be the first to reach Warsaw. yeah i feel like we have achieved enough on our part we shall now return home so as you might expect the war is going into the Germans favor, this motherfucker just killed himself on a plane, we get some heroes on the production front, and now we could stay in Axis as a German puppet, basically
basically being a sex slave, but I do not feel like serving a man that has only one ball. So we will go to the left, to the great communist revolution. And now we can slowly start plotting against the Germans. Yes indeed, we will get our whole military on our side. You know, the communist tree is pretty good because with communism with human face we can get 3% recruitable population. And yeah, we will use everything that we can against the Germans. And now, just before the Germans attack the Soviet Union, we will complete our ultimate betrayal. Most of our army stayed with us, minus one general, and for some reason we stayed at war with the Allies, so this might be a problem in the future. But yeah, we will join the Comintern, and we will also see if the Czechoslovakians call the Germans in. Seems strangely that no. Now somehow this became the strangest war ever. Germans will just let their puppet die. So oh, fuck, it's happening. But strangely the Germans weren't called in this war. So we might just take advantage of this great situation. I oh, and now we are at war with the Germans. Yeah, this is just not good. But as we stand, it should be good on our part. Now, with a bit of luck I was able to reclaim some of the border forts that we have built here and... Yeah, the Soviets are not looking the best, but I hope they will bounce back. If not, we can go and cry in our fort some more. Oof, the Germans just gave Slovakia to Hungary and it kinda fucked up my front lines. And it killed their puppet. So yeah, that was very nice from the Germans. After a little bit of time we can see that the Soviet beast just woke up and it's also our time to try to take the Berlin. So yeah, this is how you do it. You see I will happily destroy the German supply lines. So yeah, this is how we do it in Czechoslovakia. Berlin is ours. Well we might have retreated from Berlin but we were able to secure some more core provinces. So this is a huge W. You know this is just taking... Uh, for too long, maybe we can make it to Berlin again, and yes, hooray, in Berlin, we are the best Czech warriors, Czechmade retards, I have encircled you all, yes, this is indeed very fun game, as you can see, I enjoy killing all my enemies, you know, I don't really have too much to say other than, I hate this shit, still not there, so close yet so far. You see by power of communist friendship we will be soon able to finish this war and then yeah finish the allies, probably not. You know what also fuck it let's create a communist association of autonomous states aka communist Austria-Hungary, kill me everyone. But we got a juicy manpower from it so yeah that's the only thing that matters. So after the war with the Axis I somehow turned back to the Czechoslovakian original color but Comintern is pretty big and we are still at war with the fucking allies. I don't know why but they completely fucked it up with you declaring a civil war. I mean I used this tactic of switching sides in my Slovak Navy video and that was pretty fucking good. But anyway I had to turn to communism to escape the worst fascist focus Three. Ever fucking conceived by paradox. So yeah, tell me in the comments what did you think about this Czechoslovakian shit show and we are going somewhere else. Next up on our playlist, Australia. And yes, we have a terrible focus drift from Together for Victory, never another Gallipoli. We will say fuck you to the British, because for far too long we have been used like a flashlight by our overlords. We will abandon the Westminster system. For us it's time that we carve out our own path, but we need to firstly support the British so we have some autonomy progress. Yep, this is how fun this path gets. In the meanwhile we can 
build our weak industry up. The worst fucking thing about the old focus trees of Together for Victory is that quite a lot of useful focuses are locked behind, a focus that requires a certain amount of world tension. Yes, so the old uh, paths from Paradox were so much fucking fun. You know, playing as Australia isn't that good, but doesn't matter, we will support the center party and hopefully we will be able to do well at least some shit you know and now hopefully we can have some fun oh wait we have to be fully independent for us to demand new zealand but we need some guns to do funny stuff to dutchies in this and now you see i will slowly work on the dutch downfall in asia and hopefully we can get this country under our influence and now let's hope that the dutch can get molested by the people they have colonized here and also i have just remembered that i have a great depression this game can't get more relatable you know also this is quite good because we can't switch to limited conscription until we complete citizen militia forces but with our election we get it for free take that our terrible focus tree and yes indeed we finally can switch to the funny hetman you can hate him for a terrible australian focus tree but you can't deny his drip and what we can finally do is to support indonesian uprising and hopefully we will be able to send our whole army to help our new brothers question mark and also now it's time for australia to be a free state not very central is australia when we are led by a right-wing fascist party but who the fuck cares and i'm out of this shit show and welcome to another shit show good thing is that we can send four volunteers to our indonesian order well we just have to hope that they don't capitulate right away and we are here never fear australians just land it and i have a feeling that we just have to take one city and this war will be over yeah you see this is a pretty nice and smooth invasion it just takes a lot of time to get from one location to another and we are destroying the dutch colonial empire for uh, nothing i guess we didn't even get them as a puppet or anything so i don't think anyone will mind this now before we jump into any conflict it is time to cure our depression and start hitting up the gym with all our australian ministers so yeah here goes nothing i guess only our colonial ambition we have some forces to destroy them on papua but our main attack force will be landing soon everywhere so let us just hope that we can be successful everywhere where we go first it was the dutch but now it's me the good australians oh and you can see that the netherlands still have some cope division stuck in here yeah the battle over this island nation has been won it is almost done like there isn't anything much to say or do and now yes we have have a nation to fuck up so now we have basically just taken few resources here and there and that will fuel our crazy australian war machine and yes indeed manpower is what we will use from our colony to further secure our nation i feel like we should do a little bit of trolling with japan you know japanese approved our alliance but i think this was a little mistake doesn't matter anyway we are in the great east asian co-prosperity sphere and let's hope that demanding the new zealand will go smoothly oh hey there little buddy this smells like a wall but before we do anything against the allies let's help our japanese friends here so we can then fully focus on the other powers of this world so hey we caught the chinese quite off guard here when everyone is well stuck up in the north uh, Tell me who doesn't love wars in China with no supplies, fierce Chinese resistance and very nice encirclements. And so yeah, this is our road to victory when finally the Chinese forces were effectively broken inside and outside. Thanks to my super Indonesian warriors. And oh fuck oh shit, I'm not entering this one. And this is where this war ends. I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh, you know Japan, you have some fun with all the allied powers. I, in the meanwhile, will build 
my own little empire. Now what I will try to do is call the ultimate betrayal and very predictably Japanese declared war on my Indonesia and ultimately what I did was to create few extra ports so we have that support that we need when we land it here quote unquote. This will be a hard and bloody fight but I'm willing to sacrifice a lot of Chinese manpower for this. Chinese people are ultimately my best fighting force. You see Chinese people and the Australian high command are unfucking stoppable. We would just force ourselves to victory at any cost. We don't even need nuclear weapons or, well, anything else, just a lot of Chinese people. Yeah, they can capture my silly little islands, we will also get them back. Only because of brave Australians this bloody war can end. Rather quickly, all those Japanese should have never betrayed us. This is all their fault. Everything they did is coming crashing down on them when Tokyo is undefended. Oh, I love me some invasions of Japan. Always feel nice when you, well, are already almost done with it. I am truly the destroyer of the world. And for some reason Xibidi Sanma is a major power. Huh. After even Siam became a major nation, finally the war is over. You know, fascist Australia can literally go into empire. And yes indeed, we will have to kill our main rival, fucking Tibet. Free Tibet? Can y'all just shut the fuck up and stop wanting things for free? Yep, nothing to see here, just a simple invasion. Now after securing Himalayans and stealing every Indonesian child ever, I can proclaim that this is a total Australian victory. And yes, this is one of the more shitty fascist focus traits, but you can still do a lot of damage if you play your cards right. But I don't know about our last path, so we are moving to our last nation today. And last but not least, yes it's another death or dishonored focus tree. But you know there is a total legit way to play fascist Yugoslavia efficiently but well I'm not doing that today. We can start with the western focus and then work ourselves well to the worst shit ever. You know I don't think that it ever ends up well when you as Yugoslavia team up with the Italians. Quick thing that I like about the Yugoslavian focus tree is that you can do focuses that attract allied and also axis capital so that's quite good but now let's do the worst decisions ever like this should be called devolution or the opposite of evolution now let's do some reckless and bad decisions for example we can quickly get rid of ustashe but let's crush them via decisions and missions that will work well i'm sure about that basically as yugoslavia what do we want to do is to take care of our negative modifiers that plague our country but we will do it in the worst way possible you know who doesn't love unnecessarily complicated decisions that uh, will only fuck up your country anyway now to solve the slovenian problem we will just willingly give up the territory to italy and lose our course on those lands seems like a foolproof plan to me you know there were no factories in slovenia so we are just losing on manpower and nothing else. I mean that's not even really a positive thing. Anyway, we could just remove the Macedonian opposition by some concessions but no, we will just give it to Bulgarians so it will no longer be our problem. It will be a Bulgarian issue but not really. And by our decisions we can also create some Croatian militia so the Ustashe won't kill us. I mean I don't know what I'm doing here, I'm just ruining the Yugoslavia as it is. You see no Macedonia, no problem. Anyway, we can continue and sign the Tripartite Pact, where Prince Paul also becomes the leader of the fascist party. Now we have secured some things in our state, I guess, but we can surrender Italian claims to join Axis while, uh, well, Italians aren't even in Axis yet. But hey, we lose course on Zara, Istria and Litorale, and still I'm very 
very unsure how I did in these decisions, but we will see if our country explodes and the United Kingdom objects and I don't know what is happening here. Oh yeah, the democratic people will start a little civil war where we lost most of our army, so that's good. But fear not because, well, fear a lot. Because I'm not sure how well we can do here, but nobody is even sending any support. Yeah, this was definitely a good idea. You see, my mindset of never giving up hope uh, led us to Belgrade, and we won this war just by the sheer luck. At least we have our whole navy back. But yeah, our army suffered a lot of losses, not in terms of manpower or equipment, but the sheer amount of divisions. But that doesn't matter. Now we will see if the Germans accept us into their faction. And yes, we can just go fuck ourselves. Thank you very much. Now, uh, yeah, let's just build something from uh, this nation. Also, I just noticed that after we won our little civil war, we can do the coronation where Prince Paul becomes a collaborator king and we switch to fascism, which is just... Um, I don't even know anymore. And now, well, hell, long live the king. And now we should be also able to join the Axis. And also we can uh, most likely recover our claimed land from Bulgaria. You know, this is very nice. The Germans are pressuring us for uh, no good reasons in my opinion, but okay. Now let's go for the Bull... Oh, the British are guaranteeing them, but the Bulgarians were kind enough to have no manpower. So this is just me, silly old Yugoslavia causing a world war. But I mean, we should be fine. Ah, uh, even the brave Italians are joining a little fun. Yes, this is a pretty much uh, second world war. And yes, indeed, we as Yugoslavia are very ready with, you know, the German help and everything. The Bulgarians are standing truly no chance. You see, this greater Yugoslavia plan is just coming along very nicely. But I don't see how we will win the, you know, greater conflict of World War II. This is just a common Yugoslavian W. Now just uh, let me think alone in my chamber to come up with a good plan. The Australians here stand no chance. They will suffer another Gallipoli on the Yugoslavian shores. So called Yugopoli. Be me. Be at war with allies. Still attract allied capital. Great success. Italians are losing pretty hard. So I will just artificially trigger Schlieffen plan. Doesn't matter, the Germans have it covered. Now this just wants strong Yugoslavian fighters. Yes, we will be blasting Moetata in Amsterdam. And you see, it didn't hurt it that much. Unlike maybe the Germans now with the Czechoslovakians. Pretty bad stuff. But we have already broken through their forts. So like this shouldn't be that bad after all. You see, Czechoslovakia will soon fall. Inshallah. Yugoslavia is just too scary. Ah, Bratislava the last Czechoslovakian stronghold. Or not. But yeah, this is getting rather out of hand. This little country is nicely done and yeah, we just need to kill the Belgians. That's our new mission. These crazy Yugoslavians might be up to something. Something truly nefarious. Just say no to the Yugoslavian invasion. They can't hurt you without your consent. Belgium down and now it's just a run for Paris. And the Yugoslavians did it again. By sheer power of my will. We have not save Mussolini, but we will probably save all the Italians. Italy is alive again. You know, this might be a little problem, but the more British people we kill on our shores, the less British people will defend their homeland. Pretty logical equation. You know, I see it fit that there will be rather a quick Yugoslavian invasion when we capture the fucking London. And hopefully, by giving Sussex to the Germans, we can count on their help. And hopefully we don't have to do all the heavy lifting by ourselves. We have truly just became far too powerful. Yes, so this means no more British people. Now the key to success and victory is to just go around them. And it seems like that this strategy is working perfectly for us. It is truly a very risky operation, but one that is ultimately worth it. But the good thing is that we finally see some Germans arriving, which you know, will kinda help. And yes, in Indeed, some uh, Yugoslavian paratroopers just destroyed the British Empire. So as you can see, the Yugoslavia is ultimately victorious in this horrible
horrible scenario where, well, we gave up so much land for virtually nothing and gained quite an empire from also nothing. On the side note, Tito served in my military staff. Yes, this timeline is too fucking cursed. But hey, tell me in the comments if you have enjoyed this video where I took a look at some more bad paths in Hearts of Iron 4 and yeah. If you are new here and stayed for this long, don't forget to subscribe for more Hearts of Iron 4 videos and in the new year I promise I will try to upload more because I can clearly see that some people need that inspiration from me. I know that you are watching, wink wink. And as always, big thanks goes to my channel members, their names are in the description and on the screen right now. And a special thanks goes to Razonon for being the highest channel member.